kababayan, YouTube friends around the world, Mami Malu is reading the uh, Bible daily devotion for today. Our uh, daily devotion that I'm going to read for today is from the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 11 to 17. Let's read it. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, band nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgive you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Last verse. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Colossians 3 11, 17 in contrast to much of the Old Testament, the Christian ideals have progressed to be more open and welcoming because of Jesus' life, Christ is all and in all. Christ is all and in all. This devotion is from Light Bible and this is what Jacob, David Jacob said. So much of the world seems so divided in modern times. South Korea, North Korea, the Middle East, even the United States of America seems to have two opposing sides. We divide ourselves more and more based on arbitrary boundaries, skin color, religion, language, and economic status. We seem to have quickly forgotten the mistakes of the past, even the mistakes written about in the Old Testament. Did Christ die for nothing? This seems like a near impossibility these days. In the Old Testament, it would be almost unfathomable to read these verses, accepting Greeks, Jews, free or slave. The tone of the Christian religion has changed after Christ's death. However, it is also easy to forget that the Old Testament God ruled alone before His sensitive and begotten Son lived among us and before the Holy Spirit lived in and around us. The Lord our Father sits atop the Holy Trinity, but it is one body. It includes all people, all believers and non-believers alike, regardless of religion, race, color, or creed. Like our own bodies, if the heavenly body is to function, it requires harmony between all parts, peace between us on earth, harmony in heaven. Let's, let's pray. Peaceful and loving Father, I adore you. I am humbled to call myself your servant, the greatest honor I can conceptualize. Lord, I pray for your forgiveness. I have sinned and lived among sinners, but I hope that you can help grant peace upon my fellow men and show mercy towards your fellow followers. May your body of peace reign one again, Lord our strength, and our Redeemer. Amen. 
thank you very much for being here and and accompany Mami Malu for reading her daily Bible devotion. Now let's have a mega love shout out to Paul Drake, Barcelona, Tina, Isla Bonita, Angel Aces, Trip of Muscat Road, MK Lumba Online, Idol Marlo 12, Amazing Australian Life, Lynn Clark, The Joan Listens, Canis Lifestyle in UK, Casabuinar Collection, Raphael Sablags, Diana Verzuza, Bisaya Kamungay, Cuisina Ni Deji Bak Choi. And shout out also to John Taperla TV, Major Hair, Manirain, Tabaghak, and Jasmine TV. Also, a uh, shout out to music lovers, Tanging Sayo, Y Said, Gina, Lozik. Lausixi, Shana Go, Mona Mont Pinas, Booz TV, Last Breath Last, Lola Bichai, Mazu 3, Jun Dijis, Zivial Channel, Antonelist Lil, Maz 3, and to Eunice Vlog 09. Thank you very much. I will and my video of saying uh, love and support one and another and do not forget that the real joy comes only from Jesus and do not think highly of yourself think highly of God because without him we are nothing I'll see you in my next video God bless us all mm.